Welcome to Unimus 2.4 Release Overview. 2.4 has been in development for seven months and brings major new features, improvements to existing features, and a rack load of added support for new device types. Let's look at what is new. We have reworked the mass config push modifiers with simplicity and consistency in mind. NMS Sync has been seriously enhanced to handle any environment setups it might encounter. SSH session handling has improved to support a wider berth of protocol options and device inputs. We have also expanded on the Zabbix NMS Sync connector, adding new options to specify devices to import. Let's have a look at each of the major features in more detail, shall we? A significant rework has been done on macros used in the mass config push feature. Macros are now further divided into behavior modifiers, actions, and user variables and they offer customization options for creating complex configuration deployments or maintenance tasks. Let's start with behavior modifiers. Modifiers are two-word macros used to adjust the command submission behavior. For straightforward usage and consistency with other macros, the modifier syntax has been changed to modifier name yes or no format. Modifiers belong to the end of a line. Consecutive modifiers are allowed, though a specific one can only be used once per line. 2.4 brings a couple new behavior modifiers. Check the full config push documentation for more info. Now on to actions. Actions are also two-word macros and they are used to send control sequences and delays. They can be placed anywhere within a line of a command. The main addition of 2.4 here is the new delay modifier. More info again on the wiki. Variables have not changed and you can use them same way as before. All your existing mass config push presets will automatically be migrated to the new syntax. Another major rework was done on the NMS sync feature. Device adoption and orphaning concepts, as well as two new policy options, were added to control syncing behavior. NMS sync now handles added changed or removed devices in virtually any complex setup and will create, move, or delete local devices to reflect the state on the NMS. The full rework rundown can be found on our blog and our YouTube channel. SSH session handling was also refined by the added support for devices that don't respond to the none SSH authentication method. In addition, we've added a new customizable timeout setting for SSH version validation to accommodate devices that take long to supply it. Additional info can be found in the change log. By popular demand, Zabbix NMS connector has been refined. Import by templates and tags is now possible using designated prefixes. Upon Unimus update, existing sync presets will of course continue working as expected. We have also added new address field priority and description field priority selectors for Libre NMS. These allow you to configure which fields from Libre are pulled into device information in Unimus. On top of the major features, 2.4 brings a ton of minor improvements to functionality, UI elements, and general user experience. One security-related fix involving read-only users being able to add a new zone has been applied. In addition, support for 23 new device types has accrued over the past months, boosting the general robustness of Unimus as the leading device agnostic NCM. As always, if there are any questions or comments with the release or about Unimus in general, please reach out to us on our forum, social networks, or live chat. Thank you.